Hello and welcome to another episode of Who Wants to Be a Gillionaire, a trivia game show about video games. I'm your host, Schoolistipated, and today's guest I'm very excited to have on the show. Uh, I really want to see how he does, uh, so let's get right on to him. And let's welcome our next guest, Josh Jepson. Hey guys, my name is Josh Jepson, but you knew that already. Because you I, just said it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Maybe they have the attention span of a goldfish. It's true. You might you might have forgotten already. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So, so Josh Jepson, why don't yes. you tell the people of the internet what you do on the internet? I am a let's player. I make um I make let's plays. Uh, but I, I'm branching out and doing some other stuff. Um, I've done uh, let's plays in the past of all kinds of games, old games from N64 area all the way up to new stuff. So. Uh, that's what I do. That's yeah. my thing. That's that's good. Yeah. So you've got twenty five questions to get to one million gil. So do I really get a million gil at the end of all this? The uh, the the exchange rate is a little high from gil to okay. to, to gil to dollars. So we'll, we'll we'll talk about it after the show. So one million gil is equal to like a dollar. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> is that what yeah. you're saying? I'll, I'll send you a dollar over PayPal. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you've got you've got your three lifelines. You've got your whirlwind. Your steam sale. And your double jump. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready as they'll ever be. <laughs> All right. Question number one, worth one gill. In the Tony Hawk series of games, what does Tony Hawk ride? Is it A, a skateboard, B, a motorcycle, C, a unicorn, or D, a communist? <laughs> a communist! I'd like to point out that Tony Hawk ride is actually a game as well. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go with... A skateboard. It. I mean, I could be wrong on this one. You, you could be, <laughs> but that is correct. <laughs> I like to think he rides a communist. <laughs> maybe it's a, maybe it's a skateboard that you know comes from a communist country. I think he's knows. actually part of a biker gang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to question number two, worth two gil. In the Metroid series, the main character can turn into what shape? Is it A a sphere? B, a parallelogram, C, a pyramid, or D, a dodecahedron? I'd like to think that Samus <laughs> turns into a parallelogram. That would be amazing. <laughs> be uh, <laughs> a little blocky to, to move around in, but... <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, it'd be amazing. She could just sit there in the in the first level, and that's it. That's all yeah. you do. That's, I mean, that's a game right there. I'd buy it. Uh, <laughs> spheres roll, and rolling is more efficient for getting around, so I'm going to have to go with A, a sphere. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's more fit. You wouldn't get anything done as a parallelogram. No, parallel you wouldn't. Gram. I, I, I mean, I know. I'm a parallelogram myself. And Are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm not very efficient. I just kind of sit here all day. <laughs> it's usually what I do, too. Just kind of yeah. sit around. Are you a parallelogram as well? I'm actually a dodecahedron. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's better. <laughs> it is. All right. Question number three, worth five, Gil. In the first stage of the arcade game Donkey Kong, what obstacles are you trying to avoid? Are they A, bananas... B, bullets, C, rainbows, or D, barrels? <laughs> I'd like to think that Donkey Kong has a gun and is just shooting at me. <laughs> but no, he does in fact have barrels. That is correct. She's going speeding through, I mean. I am. I'm Look, man, I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for the hard questions, man. Okay. I mean, they're coming. You just, just hold your horses. They'll, they'll okay. get here. All right, all right. I'll <laughs> calm down. I'm ca I'll calm down. All right. All right. Question number four, worth 10 gil. Who is the main protagonist of the first Ace Attorney game? Is it A, Miles Edgeworth, B, Maya Faye, C, Phoenix Wright, or D, Apollo Justice? I'm gonna, I actually, this is funny, I actually have never played Ace Attorney, ever. Um, but I do know that the main character is Phoenix Wright. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I mean, it does say it in the title, so it's... <laughs> it's true, it's true. It, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I don't care. Sometimes they, it's it's hard to classify Phoenix Wright as a game, though it's so enjoyable, since it's basically it, just a visual novel. I, I played <laughs> I played the, the demo of one of the more recent ones for, like, five minutes before I kind of gave up, because I was just watching a cutscene at that point. Like, that's it was... The, it's the whole game, it's cutscenes. It's all it's all story, and I get that, but I was, like, in the mood for a new game, mm -hmm. and all I got was cutscenes. I was like, oh, okay, well, never yeah. mind. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, moving on to question number five, worth 15 gil. In the game Fallout 3... What is the name of the place you begin the game? Is it A, Cave 101, B, Shelter 101, 
C, Base 101, or D, Vault 101? Well, I mean, you it is in a cave, <laughs> and it is a shelter. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm going to have to use a lifeline on this one. <laughs> maybe. Uh, um, Fallout 3 is such a fantastic game. Uh, it is D, Vault 101. That is correct. Yes. You, you, I, I'm assuming you're, you're a fan of Fallout 3? I love Fallout 3. Such a great game. It is. Dude, I'm so excited for Fallout 4 whenever that happens. Yeah, they need I, to announce that this year. I, I was really big into Fallout 3, and then I got Vegas, and then didn't really play it that much. M maybe they'll start you in Cave 101. That would maybe be great. Maybe they will, yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll look at this and say, man, he had a really good idea. That's such a great idea. <laughs> these guys these guys should be developing the next Fallout game. Yep. Moving on to question number six, worth 25, Gil. In the Sly Cooper series of games, the occupation of... What is the occupation of Sly Cooper and his allies? Are nice. they A, thieves, B, doctors, C, plumbers, or D, mercenaries? Uh, in the Sly Cooper series, occupation of Sly Cooper and his allies. Does, do they have an occupation aside from just stealing stuff? <laughs> I, you know, I would, would you call that an occupation? Well, I mean, I guess... If you consider being a raccoon and a hippo and a turtle <laughs> an occupation, then maybe that's what they do. Can you be paid to be a turtle? You might. I, I if, if if that was a job, I'd probably do it. <laughs> I've always I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a turtle. To be a dodecahedron turtle. Yes. yes. Both of okay. those things at once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go with thieves. That is correct. I almost said mercenaries. I don't know why. I feel like they should just go around killing people. That, I mean, for money. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, I mean, it. Yeah, you just steal the stuff after you kill them. I mean, it's yeah. you just uh, double occupation. It works out in the end. <laughs> it does. Alrighty, question number seven, worth 50, Gil. In the American release of the game Earthbound, what is the name of the magic powers that you and your party can use? Are they A, EKG, B, REM, C, PSI, or D, MAG? <laughs> There's so many letters. It's all there, letters. <laughs> it is. So guess a letter and see if it wins. <laughs> I'm going to go with letter G. Uh, no. Um, Earthbound. I've actually never played Earthbound, which is which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's on the Wii U eShop now, but uh, game, I still haven't game. played it. I've heard such good things. And I, I'm fortunate enough to know that it is C, PSI. That's correct. Yes. I actually had some problems making this question because I wasn't sure if the Japanese release used PK as their... Do they use PSI? That's actually what's going to be my next question. Do they use PSI in the Japanese release as well? It, I think it might translate to or PSI. Or translate to PSI. Because I know yeah. in like Smash Brothers, he says PK, right? It's He does, yeah. So Which it, is weird. It might, it might be PK in the Japanese release. We Which... know everything about Earthbound! Yeah! This is why I specified in the questions. <laughs> I gotta, gotta cover all my bases here. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, question number eight, worth 75, Gil. In the game Katamari Damacy, the main character's father is the king of all what? Is it A, space, B, dimensions, C, universes, or D, cosmos? I didn't know you could be a king of what. I want to be a king of what? Can I be the king of who? Can I, if you can, then I can be the king of where. Okay, all right. <laughs> And we'll get together and we'll make a band. Yeah. That sounds <laughs> the king of everything. Mm -hmm. Um, the king of all. Oh God, actually. Oh God, this one. What? <laughs> so you're having some trouble here. Hang on. Okay, so it's definitely not space. It's not dimensions. Yeah, I've actually never played Katamari either. I, the thing is about some of these is I've seen let's plays of all of them, so I kind mm -hmm. of know, sort of. Yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not universe. It's cosmos. The king of all cosmos. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yes <laughs> that's correct <laughs> <laughs> you had me doubting myself for a second there that's that's my only job here is to that's make you doubt your answers yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. question number nine worth 100 gil you've got triple digits now into the gills oh. in the legend of zelda majora's mask what is the name of the boss of snowhead temple is it a adalwa b goat C, Georg, or D, Twin Mold? <laughs> oh my god, okay, so... Um, Georg is the the boss of the the water dungeon. 
whatever that is. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, I've never no, actually no, played Majora's Mask either. You, you pick games, all games that I've never played. <laughs> well, this you've never great. played Majora's Mask. I've played a little bit of it. Yeah, I've played I've played a little bit of it, and just I, it's been a long time. I've seen a Let's Play of it again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty sure it's B. Mm -hmm. Final answer. Oh, okay. It's your final answer? All right. Yes. That's correct. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to me, Regis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. You don't even understand. God, my heart stopped for a second. They're like, I don't want to lose on question nine. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Actually, I've, I've never actually beaten Majora's Mask either. I've only played a little bit of it. Uh, yeah, I, I actually, okay, I actually played the first three dungeons, which sounds like a lot, but I didn't do any side quest stuff. Yeah, that and whole game I, is side quests. Yeah, and I gave up because I had, like, no hearts, oh. <laughs> so I was dying <laughs> over and over again. Uh, yeah, that happens a lot in, in some Zelda games. It's just so yeah. hard that you're just like, I don't know, I quit. It's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Question number 10, worth 250 gil. What is the name of the famous explorer slash archaeologist from the game Paper Mario on the N64? Is it A, Professor Kansas, B, <laughs> Professor Colorado, C, Professor Arizona, or D, <laughs> Professor Arkansas? I'm noticing a pattern here. <laughs> hmm. A little bit. Hmm. Um. So have you played Paper Mario this time? Is this one of the games you've actually no. played? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I played the very beginning of Paper Mario, like, on the N64 back in the day. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a Let's Play of it? Yes! There you go! Uh, hey, you know. this is, there's a pattern here. I love it. <laughs> See, now, if it weren't for Let's Plays, I wouldn't know any of these questions. Exactly. I don't think. And that is the beauty of Let's Playing, which is why you should go check out my channel and watch my Let's Plays. Uh, shameless self-promotion. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Professor Colorado. Is that your final answer? Yes, it is. That's correct. Gosh. Gosh, man, those let's plays, they're really saving you. How many gil do I have now? 250? You have you have made 250 gil. I'm rolling in it. That's like, <laughs> I think it's like a phoenix down. <laughs> yes, I don't know how yes. much Final Fantasy money costs or things, you know. I'm not, I'm not a big Final Fantasy person. Never played Final it's, Fantasy. It's either. in the title of the show, but, you know. I, I just... call myself a gamer, and I've never, <laughs> like, I've never beaten all of these games that we've talked about today. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It really does. I mean, I've got 90 games in my Steam library, and three-fourths of them I haven't even started, so... <laughs> no, same, same, dude, same. <laughs> yep, alrighty. Moving on to question 11. Hopefully you've, you've played this game. For 500 gil, in Conqueror's Bad for a Day, what weapon is to use to defeat the boss, the great and the mighty Pooh? Is it A, toilet paper, B, a plunger, C, a toilet brush, or D, soap? I think it goes without saying, because the pattern is evident here. I have actually not played Conqueror's <laughs> for a day either. Uh, but it is toilet paper. A, toilet paper. Is that your final answer? I am the great mighty poo, and that is my final answer for you. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, singing I can't, was unnecessary. I can't follow that singing. I just gotta, gotta give it to you. There, take it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Question number 12, worth 750 gil. In the Halo series, what is the name of the parasitic alien species that is trying to take over all life? Is it A, Flood, B, Sengaleli, C, Forerunners, or D, Covenant? I have problems Sen with words sometimes. Sengeli. Sengeli. Is that, what, is that how it's that's pronounced? That's, yes. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm actually quite knowledgeable in the Halo series. Um, this is a terribly difficult one, though. I'm glad that you <laughs> specified parasitic alien species, as the entire game is made up of aliens. <laughs> uh, the answer is A, the Great Flood. That's correct. Well, I don't know how great they are, really. Yeah, I've played all of the Halo ones, and I, I after like I played a little bit of the last one, and I just I lost interest. Halo Four is, in my opinion, not that great. <laughs> eh, it's. They're all, I mean, they're all Halo to me. I mean, I, yeah. I played it on, like, that's actually, that's how I got started on my, that's where School Listipated came from. I made an Xbox Live Gamer Tag to play Halo. Oh, and it was Squil, Squil, Squil I can't even pronounce your name. <laughs> School Listipated. Yeah, I, it was like sophomore year of high school, and I was like, I want to oh. make Xbox Live. Cool. What do I call myself? I called myself uh, Cream Soda. That Cream. was my gamer tag. Nice. <laughs> Back in the day. 
Is, is this because you liked cream soda? Is that... I love. Well, okay, I got it on the Xbox for my my 16th birthday, mm -hmm. and I was trying to think of a gamer tag. I'm like, well, what? We had cream soda at my birthday party, <laughs> and I love cream soda. And I looked around the room. I'm like, what can I name myself? And I saw a can of cream soda, and that's what I did. <laughs> that's usually that's usually how a lot of pers online personas. End so up. did you look around your room, and there was like. Squirrel constipated? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Honestly, I, I did combine a lot of words. I just, I don't know how I came with this one. <laughs> it's it, actually a really good username, though. I like it. It's stuck for some reason, you know. Good. Those are the best ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alrighty. Question number 13. Worth 1,000 gil. In Link's, in Link's Awakening for the Game Boy, which of the following was not an instrument you had to collect? Was it A, a drum, B, a triangle, C, a flute, or D, a cello. So all the easy questions were games I didn't play, and now we're getting into the harder <laughs> questions, and they're all games that I have played, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, um, you've, this uh, at one, least you though, play this. This one, though, like, right off the bat, the thing that got me was, like, I don't really acknowledge which things I'm collecting. <laughs> you just, hey, look, a thing, I'm just gonna get it. <laughs> I, you know, like, because if it was... Oracle of Ages and Seasons, they have, like, the different names for the things. They do mm -hmm. in the Link's Awakening, but it's not, like, readily... A I guess it is more readily. It, says it, just it says it a few times. I think you can look at... It says it maybe if you go in the item menu. I'm just oblivious. <laughs> uh, it is a... F it's a flute, though. You sure about that? Don't do this to me. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. That's correct. <laughs> yeah, you mean, you get a cello and, like, you get... Uh, uh, let's see, what else? You get, uh, not a piano, but, uh, an organ? L like, what? <laughs> Link is incredibly talented if he can play all of those. Exa Honestly, at once, nonetheless. <laughs> I think with all the games, he just kind of does this and it plays stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go here, take me, magical instrument. Yeah, yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> Alrighty, question number 14, worth 2,500 gil. In the American release of Chrono Trigger... What is the name of the machine that allows you to travel through time? Is it A, the Omni, B, the Millennium, C, the Chrono, or D, the Epoch? Okay, um, now we're getting into interesting territory. Because <laughs> this is a game that I've not played and also a hard question. Uh, harder question. It's have probably you... not hard for people who've played the game. But the question is, have you seen a Let's Play of it? No. Oh, Oof. No. I uh, played the very, very beginning of the game, so you'd think I would know this, but um, I'm actually going to use a lifeline. Are you? I'm going to use uh, the Steam Sale. Steam Sale? All right. Yes. So we are going to have the great and my mighty Gabe Newell come down and take two of the incorrect answers away and leave one incorrect and one correct answer. So Thank you, you Gaben! <laughs> Thank you! You are uh, actually. B Millennium and D Epoch. This actually doesn't help me that much. All right. Because uh, these were two that I was actually like oh. confused between the two. Um, <laughs> so this we're, is the part with this is the part where the intense music dun, dun, builds. Dun, dun. <laughs> um, so wh what are you what are you leaning towards here? I'm thinking I'm thinking Millennium, mm -hmm. but I uh, I don't know. <laughs> I actually legitimately don't know this one, and everybody's like, Josh, it's this! You suck! <laughs> I'm like, uh... It's what everyone that's does. A, that's the same thing with, with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's like, everybody's screaming at the screen, like, it's this, and you're stupid! <laughs> um, I'm going to... I'm going to guess B, Millennium. Is that your final answer? It's... <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't. That's, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, okay, millennia. Okay, a millennium is like years. That's what you just to describe time. Mm -hmm. An epoch. I get. Yeah, I'm gonna go with D. Actually, I'm gonna change my answer to D. All right. So, all right. Just on the fly. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna change my. Cause you're making me nervous. <laughs> ah. <laughs> is that your final answer? I don't know! <laughs> yes, yes, it's my final answer. That's correct. Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, oh that's great. <laughs> god, I hate you. That pause was just like one second too long. What? <laughs> just push you over the edge right there. Yeah, yeah, it's pushing <laughs> it, man. Okay. 
Question number 15 worth 5,000 gil. That's a lot of gil. It is. In Animal Crossing, which of the following is not a fruit in the game? Is it A, persimmons, B, lychees, C, limes, or D, durians? Is that all Animal Crossing games? I think. Okay. These are all in the newest one as well. Are all they're all the ones that are in Animal Crossing are in the newest one and the are one they that really? isn't. Yes. <laughs> persimmons, lychees, durians. Oh man, okay, I know durians are for sure in there. I know lychee is. I guess persimmons are too. Um I could have sworn limes were as well, but maybe not. Have you you so you've played new like the newest one or I've played, I, yeah, I've played I played all of them oh, okay. at one point or another. Um and I know the newest one has a bunch of extra new fruits. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm kinda of confused because I, I I hmm. I'm gonna go with C, limes. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer, yes. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fun fun fact, lemons are in there, but limes aren't. Yeah, see that's what I was thinking. I wasn't sure if like because I knew lemons were. But I wasn't sure if they also had limes, because I feel like mm -hmm. they should. Yeah. I love lime. lime. Limes are pretty good. Right? I think I like limes more than lemons. Mm, I, like yeah. about this. I like about the same. I like I mean, putting limes in, like, drinks and stuff. I like Yeah, them. yeah. Very good, very good. Alrighty. Question number 16, worth 10,000 to gill. In the PC game Terraria, what is the name of the boss required to be killed in order to activate hard mode? Is it A, the Wall of Flesh? B, the Brain of Cthulhu, C, the Eater of Worlds, or D, Skeletron. Okay, I have played Terraria. Okay. Um, I have not played much of it, mm -hmm. so I'm actually not entirely sure. <laughs> Wall of Flesh, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> have, you, have you beaten any of the bosses? I've beaten, like, one, I think? <laughs> I don't even know if it was a boss, but um, I want to say the Brain of Cthulhu, but I don't think that's right. And I'm not sure of myself, so I'm gonna use another lifeline here. Alrighty, so you I'm got gonna, two left. So which which one are you gonna use? I'm gonna skip this one all together and use Whirlwind because oh. I like I don't even have the faintest idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> have right. the faintest idea. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that uh, the next one will be something that I can I can get. Alrighty. So Pidgeotto, our good friend in Pokemon, is going to Whirlwind you on to the next question. Yeah! And Pidgeotto. the next question we're. 15,000 gil. In the games Pokemon Black and Pokemon White, what is the name of the fourth badge? Is it A, the Quake badge, B, the Jet badge, C, the Insect badge, or D, the Bolt badge? The fourth badge. Now, can I ask a follow-up question? Sure. Is that the one in the big city? I don't think I can answer that. Damn it. Because <laughs> if you can, I can get it, because I know the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so start start from the beginning. Count 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 the badges. Oh, sh screw it. I I wouldn't be able to. Uh, <laughs> Pokemon Black and White are like the ones that I know the least. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not Jet Badge. Okay. It's not the Bolt Badge. It's either the Quake Badge or the Insect Badge, and I'm pretty sure it's not the Quake Badge. Therefore, deductive reasoning leads me to believe that it is C, the Insect Badge. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. No! <laughs> no! The correct answer is D, the bolt badge. No, really? Seriously? Yeah. It is the one in the big city. Wait, what? I thought that was a bug one. No, the one in the big city is, is the bolt badge. Oh no, you're right. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, all right. Hey, uh, I mean, question number, you you got 10,000 gills, so that's... that's hey, you look, hey, that's at least 10 cents, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'll, I'll give that one to PayPal to, to maybe give to you. <laughs> you, don't, you, you, skip, you can skip on the... I think PayPal will take the entirety of that as a fee. <laughs> exactly. So... Wow. Why I, I, feel, was, I feel ashamed as a Pokemon fan not, not to know that. I mean, it's hard, you know, they all get mixed up and there's so many names, there's eight per game. Yeah, that's true. Is the insect badge at least in black and white? I think they're all in black and white. All? The, uh, psh, blew my mind. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, was, thanks for 
thanks for having me on this. This was a lot of fun. It was. It was. It was fantastic having you on here. So why don't you tell all the people watching uh, where they can find you? Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's really simple because it's between my name, YouTube.com/slash <laughs> Josh Jepson. Um, but I'm also on Twitter and the Facebooks at the same name. So follow me and do things with me. I like having conversations. I think that's the thing that I like the most. Uh, so if you're interested in having a conversation with the the, the viewer uh, viewer kind of viewer video maker conversation, uh, I'm doing a lot of that in the comments of my videos these days. So. That's good. Yeah, I like I like when the, the content creators like connect. With I spent the I spent like two hours this morning just responding to comments. So yeah. <laughs> You can also find every, like, he's all down in the description. Every single place you can find him is, is right down there. Yeah. Yeah, so once again, it was, it was fantastic having you on here. Thanks for, thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, and I'll see you somewhere on the interwebs. And thus concludes Josh Jepson's journey through the dungeons of Mount Gillionaire. He was a great guest, but he was not quite strong enough to make it through. Hopefully one day we'll have someone make it through and get one million gil, but not today. Uh, just like always, if you have any comments that you'd like to express, there's a comment section down below that lets you do just that. Or if you like the video and don't want to leave a comment, there's a like button as well. Uh, you, there's an application for in the description if you'd like to be on the show, if you think you, you have the strength to make it through the dungeons. Or if you just think you have a good question for the show that you, you'd like to see on here, there's an application for that as well. If you didn't know, I have a Twitter that I post any updates to Gillionaire on, or anything else that I feel like posting. Uh, I also have a Nintendo ID for anyone that wants to play Smash Brothers with me. Just add Squillistipated, uh, it'll be, this is just how to spell it on screen right now, on, on the Wii U. And if I'm online and you're online, we can smash together. It'll be fun times everywhere. But other than that, I've been your host, Squillistipated, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> I just look over from my monitor.